We welcome you back. Kia Six Man of the Year finalists. A couple of Clipper teammates, Montrez Harrell and Lou Williams, and Dennis Schroeder of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, now, this is going to narrow the field by one because Clippers head coach Doc Rivers helped deliver the news today. I need your help. Um, Man, what we got here? What we got here? What we got here for the man? Six man. Just because, uh, you know, I had this talk with my grandmother and, you know, um, and losing her this year, um, it's still tough every day. So, you know, um, this is a tremendous honor. Um, I thank you all, you guys, man, uh, especially Coach, um, ever since I came here to give me this opportunity. Uh, growing with you guys, especially Pat, Luke, been around you guys, you know, ever since coming into this league, man. So. No, this is really from you guys. I just want to say thank you for you guys, and uh, I'm up. That is a cool moment as Montrez Harrell joins us uh, from the bubble in Orlando to to have that kind of a moment surrounded by your teammates. I imagine is very cool, and and also, um, look, we know it's been a tough time, and you referenced it there when you when you lost your grandmother, and so. In the midst of some dark times, this is a this is kind of a shining moment for you. How do you feel? Um, I feel good. Um, it's definitely a huge honor uh, to be here. Um, you know, like you said, I've definitely been battling some tough times and you know getting through some uh, dark places uh, with my family. But um, we've been you know getting through them, uh, praying each day, and uh, just learning how to keep going and uh, keep being better each day. Um, you know, we know my grandmother is there huge part of our life and uh, she's still here with us to this day so you know we just cherish her each day and try to get better. Trez it's Draymond uh, congratulations man I'm super happy for you. Uh, my question is I, when we come into this league there's something that's driving you pushing you every day I think over the course of your career that changes is that same thing that was driving you when you initially came in which was undersized uh, you were, they were saying you were an undersized four. You're actually playing a five. Is that same thing driving you today, or has that changed for you? Um, no, uh, it still drives me to this day because, um, man, I hear all the outside noise of what I can't do every day, man. And, you know, that's just what it is, noise, man. I, I fuel and feed off of things like that, and if people haven't really realized that, then, you know, hey, keep adding fuel to the fire, man. I, I come in this game looking at this work and just do everything I can to put myself in a position to not only better myself, but better my teammates, you know, better people that surround me. And, you know, my work speaks for itself, man. I, I don't have to go out here and just, you know, yell and do all this, man. I, I came in this league as a person that was, you know, not looked at and was not, you know, really in the rotation to play. And I worked my tail off, you know. I asked to go down to the G League and I asked to, you know, just be around guys so wore that fact that I was going to play, man. I, I just love this game and, you know, I'm blessed to be here. Um, I'm blessed that my grandmother put the ball in my hands and, you know, everything that I'm doing to this day um, going forward is, is going to be the same as it was before uh, she left me. Uh, well, tremendous award. Congratulations, you know, to be one of the best. If you really let that sink in best players in the league at what you do. That's a, that's a heck of an accomplishment. But secondly, that's a tough role. I, you know, it, I, I can understand guards. But being a six man and being a big, like, how, what's the mental preparation to get ready as a big and being a six man and then playing those minutes that's significant? Um, <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see my shirt, but uh, this, this man right here, this man right here, you know, he taught me everything, man. Uh, he's been in a numerous amount of roles where he could have been on the team and started and, you know, factored and, you know, asked for starting, paying and, and uh, a lot of different arguments. But he comes in and does what each team 
asks him to do, and that's be himself, score the basketball, man. Uh, you know, go out there and do the things that Lou does, and he does it to the highest caliber there is, man. He's won this award, you know, three, four times. I, I don't know how many times, man. I've yeah, seen him up here holding this award, but you know, I, I'm blessed to just be around him and, and have the chance to be able to know him and, and grow and just learn how he did things as a pro, man, because, you know, Lou, Lou's accomplishments speak for himself, man. A lot of people don't really give that a lot of insight and give it a lot of you know, hype that it deserves, man. This is a guy who has his own signature, uh, signature shoe and peak. Um, you know, he's broken numerous records as coming off the bench and scoring uh, six man of the year. Um, I mean, he's just a tremendous guy to be around, man. I'm just honored that I could actually be around him and just learn from him. Trez, this is Shaq. I don't have a question. I just want to say I'm so proud of you. Uh, I've been fortunate to, to be able to win four championships because of guys that work hard like you. Donis Haslam, James Posey, Rick Fox, Big Shot Bob. So I'm saying congratulations. Keep doing what you're doing, and uh, good luck this year, brother. Uh, for sure, Shaq, man. Uh, it means a lot. Um, you're a great mentor to me. Um, we've connected and talked uh, even throughout playing in the Drew League uh, against your son and, you know, still hold communication through social media today, man. So it means a lot to hear you say that. Trez, nice going. We congratulate you for everybody here in Atlanta. Nice going. Cool. And